Hey guys, welcome to another video of Millie Makes. So again, today we're here on my island, well, our island, sorry JV, and I'm going to be making a creepy kitchen ready for Halloween. So for those of you that saw my video yesterday, um, I did the lounge. For those of you that haven't, here's a quick sneak preview. So, you know, you can see here like a lot of creepy vibes. I'm going to kind of tone that down a little bit in the kitchen um, in that maybe we'll just go for some more like orange. I wish we'd got pumpkins. Maybe I could put a few of them on like a table or something as a later addition. But let's start this build and see what we can do with the items I've got so far.
Okay, so I feel like, like I said, I wanted to lower down the kind of creep factor here. And I feel like I've done that. I feel like it's very much a kitchen area. But the, the level of spookiness, sorry JP, I can't stop doing that. The level of spookiness is actually quite kind of minimal. I really like it. What do you think? I love it so, so much because I've always been a bit envious of people that have this kind of, um, the ironwood, is it? The ironwood furniture. Yeah. But you've used it in such a way that it's reminded me almost of a mixture between Sherlock and Hansel and Gretel. And you've kind of got the, you know, the science Ooh, experiments like in the kitchen. You've got the skull. But also you've got um, that kind of weird, I don't know what it is, that kind of newt type thing that's on there, like a fossil, <sighs> which could also, which could potentially be like a, an ingredient for a witch's spell that goes in that cauldron, which is very like, you know, the witches from um, Macbeth or in Hansel and Gretel, they're like lured in there for like, oh, well, the supper's you, like very <laughs> cackling, very scary, but I love it a lot. Like, I can't find a fault with it. I guess, like you say, maybe it would have benefited from having the carved pumpkins out. But really, I don't know if there if there'd be space for it, especially with everything that you've got going on at the moment. And I think you've done an amazing job. Thank you so much, JB. I'm glad that you like it. Oh, and I love the chairs. They kind of blend in. Yeah, I tried to make some dark furniture, but also practical at the same time. Almost like if you can't see it though, someone could be floating at the table. Mm -hmm. That'd be scary. Let's make Millie float. Look. Yeah, we all float down here. Wow, and I love how you've used the floor lights. Yeah, I just yeah. thought the corners were a bit too dark, and like I said, with the orange walls and stuff, I did want to make this room just a little bit lighter. Because, like, as we saw before, the first room I did really was quite dark. Wow. Okay, well, I hope you all like this speed build. I'm trying to, like, get some kind of Millie makes out every day of this month because I'm loving the Halloween update so, so much. And we've just come out of a really big island theme, so I really want to get some outdoor areas going as well with, like, that Halloween vibe. So the second my pumpkins are ready, there is going to be so, so much more to share with you. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it, and like I said, I'm loving this update. If you can think of anything that you'd like to try and challenge me with that I need to create on Millie Makes, that'd be so cool. Drop that in the comments. We have so much more content out there for you. If you're loving Halloween on Animal Crossing as much as we are, go and check out our island tours. We have a special kind of Halloween vibe going at the minute. Some really amazing tours out there, so go and check that out. Also, kind of non-Animal Crossing content, we have the Mario um, special anniversary with all the Lego building, playthroughs, there's just so much. Go check it all out, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. JP and Millie.